We should do a 360 podcast. I have yeah. a 360 camera. Where are we? Cliff Walk from Rhode Island, New Ferry. We're in the Newport Cliff Walk. In Newport, that's what it is. Yeah. That's a comedy book store. Yeah. We're looking at the million dollar mansions, trying to pick which ones we're going to buy. I hope they take buttons as payments. Bubble money. Oh, yeah. I feel like I should get a sweater and start wrapping around the back of my neck. Is there... So this is this place. The Chandler. The Chandler Cara. So that's the thing. Yes, it is. Uh, why do you have sailboats? I do not. It just makes me, I don't know. Being here just makes me want to go to the I'm not one for the ocean. What? I do not trust it. God, it's so purple blue. Yeah, yeah, except the sharks, Eddie. What about all the sharks that are in there? Oh, there's sharks here. Um, did you know that this ocean's connected to the rest of them? So, yes, there are sharks in there. They might not be right there, but yes, there are yeah, sharks in there. At Cape Cod. At Cape Cod, the water's actually warm there. That's why the sharks go there. That's why, all this, that's why the seal... Uh, Population's gotten a lot bigger too is because the water's so much warm there. I was watching fun facts about no, I was reading fun facts about Jaws, uh, and I guess off the coast of Egypt, the maybe in the mid '90s, like the exact scenario of Jaws happened where they knew there was a shark out there, they didn't want to admit that people were getting eaten by the shark, uh, and they were keeping the beaches open because it was the height of tourist season, and in Jaws fashion. They caught a big, but not, the, they caught a big shark, but not the one that was actually eating people, yeah. and everything was solved until three more people died. I might be wrong about the three people, but more people died. Well, I guess the whole story behind Jaws actually happened, it happened more like in the 1800s or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like, you know, it was like, the author, well, it was drawn the first day of the book first, and then I think a year later, the book became so popular, like, someone bought the rights for it. Okay. So anyways, I guess, like, I'm only doing this off of memory, so I don't remember the exact story. But yeah, I think the same thing ha- close to happening was, like, in the, uh, even, like, the 1700s or 1800s, but it was pretty close at huh. time. And same thing, there, you know, but, like, this is, uh, Massachusetts, and we didn't have sharks around here. Well, you know the shark that they used when they cut it open on the dock, uh, was from, they brought it up from Florida? Uh, but because transporting a dead shark is not the easiest task in the world, the shark they brought, um, it rotted. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know the scene when they have it hung up by its tail? Yeah. I guess when they did that, because the shark had been dead for like five or six days by that point, all of its internal organs were released from what they were attached to inside of them. Yeah. And they filled up in the thing's throat. So she just came from work it was really difficult to move because the weight wasn't balanced out right, and yep. it was a really big shark to begin with. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know the tiger shark they caught in the movie. Yeah, it was a it was a good sized tiger shark too. I, know, I just want to know. Do you think they did they just start throwing license plates and shit in its mouth after it was dead, and then or they're just praying to God? Because remember, like you see it, they're like they cut it open, and then it was like what, like a tie cap the tire, and like a I think the um, I think the shark they cut open was a fake one, but I don't remember if it said in the article or not. So it just take us the first time, like an hour. Yeah, I'd say about an hour. Because I got about an hour worth of uh, memory on this thing. So. so we'll probably be back on the other side around like 2.45. Not bad. I'm just hoping the camera doesn't die in the middle of it, because I get so many things I've started to film, and then battery or memory.
Yeah, I did know that. Ooh. The walk back's not as bad as I thought. I thought the sun was going to be bearing down on my face the whole time. And... No, I think it was going to be right at an elevated spot. No. Yeah. Well, right at the, sh you know what it might have been too? Right at the beach with all the, uh, the light colors. It might just be the uh, sun reflected off the sand and stuff. Thing. I remember like today, I think before, before I picked you up, I was, I was reading another advice and I was then doing another article about how, uh, you know, trans people getting murdered is an epidemic. And I'm like, yeah, uh, 133 people in six years period is not an epidemic. Yeah, I'm going to put this on YouTube, so that's not, that's not a solid conversation. It's 100% a solid conversation. It's relative to the, uh, to the political climate today. I'm not saying anything hurtful. I'm not just saying it's not an epidemic. No, but I put three people out of what? How many? How many? Uh, what's what's zero point six percent of like what? Like thirty-seven million people? Even more than that? Yeah, something like that. But I'm just trying to make a nice scenic video of us walking down the cliff walk. And we can't talk about anything. We have this video. Well, we can just. Yeah. No. Just, do you want to do a look, video look. of scenery? And just keep, see how you're doing, you're, you're walking. You gotta, you gotta place it still. And just let the scenery and no, the it's noise a, take over. It's the 360 camera, so if you're watching it after, you can look around and see all yeah, the things that we're seeing. See it. Yeah. Get the whole path, get the nice walk. Oh, fucking hungry. Plus, you can't make any money on YouTube now after Carl Mazza. No, I can still make money. I put the most, uh, you know. Yeah, you probably got demonetized. I haven't got demonetized. I got no strikes. But I just put no, the no, most. No, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you have strikes or not. If it's done, unless you are, a new, pretty much a new agreement. Unless you're a, uh, a trusted curator, which means like you're very, very popular. You got demonetized. That's like the whole big. Of, that was like one of the whole big things about the, about the star, star something. It was just a guy. All he did, was he did, he did scenery. Like you'd go out to a really nice place, and put a 360 camera there. Yeah, I know. I watch his stuff. I do. Uh, I like that. Um, yeah, and that got that stuff. That got demonetized. Yeah, but that one might get. Um, no, it's just. I no, mean, what's that? If you're not, if you're not popular, Hang on, what's happening? Well, you gotta dig. What's happening right now is that if you're not popular enough on it, they're just demonetizing. Demon they're not demonetizing everyone. Well, it's they've they demonetized a couple. Of now you got you got you got to dig. What happened the last time an ad thing happened is that they don't have the manpower to check through all these videos, and they don't they're never have. They're gonna have the manpower. It's all an algorithm thing. That's why, because the algorithm can't handle it either. That's why right. you get also, people complaining about the stuff that they pulled off. The agreements they put in after this thing. What? They changed the terms yes, of agreement? They changed them uh, like not even four days ago. That's why that person got demonetized because he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't fit under the new terms of agreement. That's why a lot of people got demonetized. See, I thought they were doing it like they did before, where they're no. all they're just going safer than sorry, taking everyone down. No, a lot of a lot of history channels, a lot of history channel, uh, history channels got demonetized. Uh, I think a few makeup channels got demonetized. So a lot of it was like a lot of a lot of a lot of that, that was the whole big thing. That's why, that's why Tim Pool made a big deal out of it. It wasn't hitting any big names. It was only hitting small creators. Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot of the smaller ones too. I've seen them coming back and saying, "Our channel's demonetized. We can't, um, we can't uh, appeal it for at least 30 days." So I think well, they're now, now, now they can't even appeal these things because it's, they're just like they're saying, "It's like, hey, you're, you know, you're not, you're, you're just not going to get our ads here." Like they said, these people didn't do anything wrong. It's just no. That's what I'm saying. Like a, like a lot of those, a lot of those smaller ones are probably going to get their ad revenue back. But the reason they I can't, hang on, the reason they can't uh, appeal it for 30 days is because there's not the manpower. Well, no, to, so they're going to get if they all went and tried to appeal it.
they're all it's gonna literally flood flood the manpower no, with no. to the point where they can't all deal right. with it and it's gonna turn into I'm, a standstill. I'm saying it wrong. If it's pretty much YouTube says unless unless pretty much you're a big corporate guy. Unless like I'm just gonna say the stupid version of it. Unless you're unless you're pretty much like NBC fucking any big thing that has a YouTube channel on it, or if you're already like established like that up. Uh, it's like guy guy greenly or whatever. Yeah. Where you got like like I don't know, you average upon like four million views a video, you're not gonna get their ad space. You're not gonna get any ad time from them. So pretty much they're pretty much telling them, hey, just focus on, you know, getting uh you know, getting advertised yourself and doing little commercials during the videos. No, I don't think we're it's that bad off because no, there's it, even it really is. That's why that's the whole that's like the whole that's the whole reason why Tim Fool's friggin' didn't pissy about it. I don't think he's gone. Well, that's no, that's what I'm saying is that they are demonetizing channels with a big broad blanket because they don't like all these people that just got demonetized that are going to be able to appeal it. They can't appeal for the 30 days because otherwise YouTube would get flooded with people appealing it, and they know a lot of these well, channels are not well, violating stuff. Well, They're not going to get knocked down. It's back to the point where it was at in the last ad apocalypse where. Oh, well, our algorithms do everything they can to make sure know, things are suitable, and it's just coming up that your algorithms don't do it. No, but the way it's the way it's going though, the way they have it set up now is they don't care. You don't have to break rules now. You don't have to do anything. They're just unless you unless I think unless you break the certain mark, and not again the views. I could be wrong about this, but it, he's 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 pretty much saying it's like it's not. There's no there's no pretty much a way to describe it. There's, there's, you can't just you can't appeal it. That's how it is now. Yeah, that's what you're not getting. You, they can appeal it. No, no, they're just that, not. That's the way he's made. I don't know. I'm just going. By, I gotta, maybe I gotta rewatch the video again. So he's, he's, Stephen Stephen Crowder cannot appeal his thing right now through the regular YouTube appeal process. Because I was watching Jesse Peterson yesterday, and he was talking about demonetization, and he had his tech guy who does all the stuff that he's. Because you know he's an older dude. He's not 100% computer savvy. Uh, He's got to explain it to him that we can't appeal this for 30 days. We have to wait 30 days. And most likely the reason that they're not, that they're letting the ones that are, are eligible for an appeal not appeal for 30 days is because they're right now, like you said, if you're a top creator, you're top tier within the top thousand ones, they have a person right now probably going through every video you've ever put up and seeing if anything violates. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just going by what he said the new terms of agreement are. So they haven't changed the terms of service. I've looked at them. Yes, they have. They, they, they put it in after. See, this is this is the video I watched. It was Steven Crowder won the battle, but they're still fighting the war because as I think it was Thursday night or Wednesday night. If you're talking about that they changed. Hold on, let me just Hang on, because the, the only thing that I've seen that they've changed the terms of service on is that you may not have videos that violate our guidelines as individual videos, but if there's a thematic theme throughout your channel of harassment or abuse, no, that's they're not, taking that into account. Let's find a video, because he said he explains the new terms of agreement over like the first five minutes of the video. I'm going to say I'm going to that up. Well, because you see how many times back off when uh, no, it, was, it was they made it really clear about that they, they, because the YouTube even YouTube, the thing about it too which he was kind of calling bullshit on is YouTube made it seem like they were going to be changing the terms of agreement anyways and they were going to be doing it around this time anyways which is bullshit they only did it now because Vox was crying about it Let me find the yeah that's the one I'm talking about they don't they didn't change the terms of service except to add the line that while an individual video may not violate no, it was, our terms they, of service did, uh, if your channel as a whole has a, a thematic pattern I might be not quoting it exactly but that yeah that's I watched that the either yesterday or this morning these are all fucking
pretty sure I know I know the video you're talking about because I can still see the thumbnail for it. What was the thumbnail for it? Uh, it looked like Tim Pool's head on the left. Either mass, no, mass, it's mass censorship hits rocks. It's uh. It's uh. Yeah, it's a monetization on this video. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, everything's going up right as it gets recorded. We're not, hang on, hang on. We're not in Massachusetts. You don't have the right of two party consent. One party consent. seen this but I know what he's saying he they didn't they didn't all right so they did change the terms of cert but they didn't change it in a significant way except to just make the wording more vague which I guess is a significant change because if it's vaguer then that's more encompassing what they can police and what they can't police and all that but I think the whole thing about it is becoming whether or not they're a publisher or if they're a platform and that's what the debate on YouTube is becoming now. Yeah, that's gonna be a, uh, that's gonna be a thing going towards the Supreme Court if they're gonna keep arguing if it's a publisher or a platform because. And it's honestly, I mean, Tim Pool says it's or no, it's a platform. It's not it's a publisher. It is. It's becoming a publisher. They're, they're only one-sided. Well, it, YouTube's a weird one because let's say I put up a comment. That's me using it as a platform. Let's say I put up a video. I'm using it as a publisher. I thought platform was, um, you know, they're letting both sides or whatever sides go on, speak freely, whatever. But they're only. That's that's what I'm saying. If it's, if I'm leaving a comment, I'm using it as a platform. Yeah. I am voicing my opinion. But if someone is posting a video, they're using it as a publisher. There's not. Well, I thought it was more. Not that a comment, but a platform. Like, more like, um, I think they're, they're putting more of the argument towards, uh, the videos they're putting out are just, are you really one-sided? You, you, you get what I'm saying? I don't know if they've articulated that right or not, but it's like, 
fair off. No, no, no. You're, yeah, you're not. The video, YouTube's not putting out any videos. They are definitely promoting oh, the videos that. Yeah, that people put on there. What I'm saying, no, it's their rules and the way they're enforcing their rules. They're only doing it against one side. Yeah, it's completely arbitrary, and that's why the whole thing with Carlos Maza came out the way it did, is that you got people saying like, "Oh, hey." He wants to do all this with Crowder. It's like, what are you just gonna ignore when he's done it to others? Yeah. And it's like, well, that was the thing too when they were complaining that he's like, you know, Crowder's being racist and all this. The best thing I've heard ever is when Tim Pool goes, calling someone Mexican isn't racist. <laughs> yeah, that's a mistake. Like, like that's just a great line because it's it's not racist. Like he wasn't. I mean, unless he's specifically doing it, like, because what is he, is, um, uh, is Carlos Maza Cuban or Puerto Rican? Cuban. All right, so Crowder knows he's Cuban, and he's calling him a Mexican On to purpose. get his goat, because yeah. I don't, I don't know what the Latin cultures are like, if there's headbutting between Cubans oh, and Mexicans. You know, to be fair, I know, it's, it's, I know if he was, all of them. well, I'm going to say, I know if he was Portuguese or Brazilian, and he called them the opposite. There is bad blood between those two cultures because it's just like... Well, it's like if you call an Australian and a uh, Kiwi. Yeah. They will try to fight you on the spot. Yep, and it's not even... I remember I was at a bar at the St. Uh, Paddy's Day Parade. And it, the guy was just yelling. Like, you know, he's like... Oh, yeah. And you can hear a difference by, like, this much, the way it counts on words. The guy's like, he's like, hey, you know, you guys are both like, two of the three. Or if, I was gonna say, if I was to ask you about one of the three, one of the two, what would you say? Be it this and that and the other. Like, I've never but heard of like, bitch about someone and they're saying it's Australian. Like, well, you can't just be here and then you can't be like, you can't be like, like, so it's like, say more like Welsh and the Scottish because the Welsh and the Scottish both tend to have that um, that that mumbliness to them that you know they don't hear it but we like to us it sounds like a mumble because they just they roll through words in a different way oh no because they don't say it best about it you get to like I mean I, I, mean, I, don't, I haven't seen too much about like the Welsh ghetto but you know you can see a lot so they, they show you they'll show you like a documentary like the Scottish ghetto and shit like that it's like when they speak in the language. Oh, not, yeah. They're not speaking English. I mean, they are speaking English at one but it's like, not like slang words. You can't just say, no idea what they're saying. They're no, not, not at all. In Gaelic. No, yeah. Well, I mean, that's, that's kind of what, um, I don't think it's gone to that point, but you know how, like, on websites, it'll say, pick your language, and then it's got, like, English, and then it's, like, English, U.S., English. London, like it's got the different subcategories. That's just because it's getting to the point where, um, you know, as language, just as the language is all evolving around everywhere, it's just getting more and more. See, that's the word I'm looking for. Staring the video, just talking about this, the languages. Yeah, I mean, you might just overlay music into the things that we don't want to talk. things that I enjoy, so, like this walk, I bet this will come out really good, except I keep noticing that I'm letting the camera tilt down slightly, so it's going to be a little bouncy. You know, my favorite thing is going to be to watch back at this, and the number of people looking at the camera with disdain. Like, it's one of my favorite things. I don't know why, but it's just like... It is. Oh, you're my stomach. 
I just want all the things and some of the stuff. No, definitely. It's. Uh, I'm glad that it's nice and flat because I am not in a mood for an inclined hike. Oh, I couldn't do an inclined hike. Not with my legs right now. Stairs have become like a struggle. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's how it is. I'm worried the first time, like, it happens every year. The first first day I go for like a nice long, like 20, 25 mile ride, uh, my legs are going to be done for like three days. Uh, but then they're fine. It's just like. Well, it's like you can power through it too. Like, when I went to jogging, I started jogging. Uh, maybe within the first five seconds of it, my pants were gone. So, you know, I was just getting them in a long time, like, when I went jogging yesterday, that was the first time I did it in seven years. Oh, yeah. Like, I could go around that whole cemetery without taking a break until, like, maybe I got to, like, where Dunkin' Donuts is. Yeah. But, like, now it's, like, I got to walk, there's a gym on my house, and I was jogging yesterday, I was walking through the fucking gym. Now, I know that's, that's gonna happen, because I haven't... Oh, yeah. So. You know, what got me a brake hard is just, we were powering up that hill, and then I just got, just got a snow cramp, and those will put me down for some reason. It took us an hour the first time. We're at the 28 minute mark. And we're probably going quicker back than we went there, because I don't know. It just feels like we're moving faster this time. Yeah, we were we were right at the peak of noon, so we were probably catching the tail end of the morning folks and the start end of the afternoon folks. Just go to the beach down there? Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to hit it up. Definitely, I would definitely want to hit up Cape Cod sometime this summer because I haven't been down there. And I, like, sit down and I, like, I haven't been to the Cape in years. Like, absolute years and years. So I think I'm going to maybe take a weekend off from Whole Foods at the end of our. Uh, Well, I'm getting towards, excuse us, towards the end of my summer at George, um, which is actually coming, when it's all said and done, it's going to be like a year at George instead of a summer at George. Uh, Are getting a real job? Yeah, well, I was, um, before all the stuff happened uh, with all of that, I was already on the way to get, um, I was thinking of going back to Middlesex, but then that is... Probably not my best bet, so uh, go to elect electrical school in September. Yeah, become an electrician? Yeah, I mean, I already did all most of the stuff in the Army. I just need um, the apprentice hours now, which is kind of a bummer because now I'm older. It'll be a while before I get those hours in, but. I think it's like maybe two years. Yeah, I think, I think that's all it is. But even so, it's once you get to the. And I like playing flyers. I mean, honestly, I was even maybe thinking about going to doing that, but I don't know if I want to put in the money for school. If I did that, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to quit Whole Foods. 
Yeah, it's only, um, the schooling's not that bad. It's like $1,200 for the class, and then whatever the books are going to cost me. Uh, but I just paid for my trip to Indiana, so I'll figure that all out. Um, I don't know, probably a week or two. I just can't be putting all sorts of money on my credit card, or else I won't have any money when I go to Indiana. Third or fourth house we came up on, isn't it? Yeah. I think maybe around now, Ben, we're going to see the box of the line over. Yeah, because those. Can you. I wonder if the cliff walk goes in the other direction, too. Or if it's just in this one direction. I think it's in this one direction. Yeah, those, those are probably like the occupied houses. The people are like, I don't want the peasants looking at my house. Their eyes might ruin the paint. Unsophisticated swine. They don't know what this color should look like. Oh, Calling nice. it pink. It's fuchsia. <laughs> it's fuchsia. Yeah, oh, it's a lovely little house. Stuff you moron. It's Azul. Oh, sorry. It's Azure. Azul is just Spanish yeah. for blue. <laughs> it's summer. Summer set in Maine. Blue, you idiots. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, where are those deadly rocks? Are they coming right up along the edge? Yeah, I see them. Ah, there they are. So we did the walk back in 37 minutes, I'm guessing, by the time we get back. Yeah, I mean, we did stop a few times, too, so I'm going to add some time on it. Oh, yeah. Plus, too, we weren't hungry when we started walking, and now we are, so that's yeah, that's a horse nice. of a different color. <sighs> what do you think? What do you want to food you want to get? Uh, I want to go to a place that we sit down, but they don't necessarily have to serve us. Like, like above McDonald's, but, you know... I don't know, I was thinking, I'll be honest with you, I like a way, I, I like a good way this, two waitress drinks, nothing crazy high class, I was thinking maybe like a, one of those like seashore restaurants, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't want to have to get up and get my food, what am I, what am I? I'm not a common man, Lally. Rocks are tricky to walk on. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I could probably, I could probably sprint at full speed across these. Less than, maybe you, but not me. Again, uh, unicycle, I, I, it's the balance. Like, like not yet, but, uh, this way, uh, like even before I put the weight on my foot, I could feel that one of the rocks was wet and I was going to slip if I put weight down on it. There's all these parkour. You've got nowhere you're going to put your feet. Well, yeah, that's the only thing, too. I'm staring down at the ground as I walk, so I mean, I got a good idea of what my plan of action is. A couple of steps up ahead.
Now this right here, this loose gravel, this is harder to walk in for me. Yeah. The only reason why they added that is because the producer missing wanted it really bad because it had a nightmare like that. Oh, yeah. Well, you know that um, that full body burn when Freddy's on fire for, I think for a while it was like, like one of the longest full body burns anyone had ever done. Yeah. Because they... I think what they did is they had three cameras going at once, so you got all these different cutaway shots, and it looks like he's walking for, because he, he stayed on fire for, I think, almost like 90 seconds, and I think the record is only something, like, it's short, it's something like two minutes or something like that, Yeah. because, well, I mean, the people who do the full body burns, the biggest issue is that it's not, because they have all that protective stuff, so it's not that you're actually going to get burned or anything, it's just holding your breath because you can't breathe because if you took a breath in hey, you die from insulation well the temperature the t from insulation. yeah the, just the temperature of the air will kill you and then it runs into an issue that you can't have an oxygen tank because if your oxygen tank heats up yeah, we'll you will blow your ass up well it's like um that's when they say when you know when they uh yeah. oh yeah wet more is where we uh parked <laughs> wait so i guess we can walk in the yeah, it's fun, I don't think it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, um, what was I saying before I dropped my phone off the train of thought? Talking so, about the full oh, body yeah, burn. saying, like, um, you know, when they used to burn people at the stake back in, like, the Spanish Inquisition and all that stuff, the majority of those people had died way before flames actually got them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was more of a, um, symbolic thing than anything. Alright, that's the end of the cliff walk. Bye.